Hey everyone, it's Cheyenne back with another value-packed video to help you become successful freelancers on Upwork in 2023. Today, we are going to deep dive into the practical side of project catalogs on Upwork. In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to set up your project catalog efficiently and effectively to boost your earnings on the platform and also increase your visibility on the platform. Before we start creating our very first project catalog on the platform, maybe it's good to have a look on other project catalogs that are already working on the platform. You can have a better idea of how to set up your projects appropriately. The very first thing that I want to draw your attention to is that the project catalog comes at a very relatively small size. So you want to make sure that your picture is standing out, it's very well visible and also you want to use a few words on the picture and make sure that it's very big and also easy to read. Alright, now that you know how the project catalogs look like on Upwork, it's time to go on and build your very first project catalog on the platform to make sure you will diversify and boost your earnings as well as you increase your visibility on the platform. So the very first thing that we are going to take care of is the title of the project catalog. If you are a web designer, you don't want to only say a WordPress website. So you want to include relevant keywords that potential clients might search so you can make sure that this project will come up in the search results. Additionally, focus on the values that you offer to the client, not the product. So, as I'm a web designer and developer on the platform, I'm not going to put just the title that you will get a WordPress website, no. Now, I'm immediately and directly transferring the message that what are the values that I'm offering with this package. Additionally, I have included some very important keywords such as responsive, mobile friendly, high converting WordPress website. So all of these keywords in the title will help my project catalog to come up in the search results. Next, the very important thing is to choose the right category because clients on the platform might go on and look at the different categories, for example, development and IT, and then click on WordPress. So here, once you are setting up your project catalog, you want to come here in browse all categories and then go step by step. So I'm going to choose development and IT, and then I'm going to choose WordPress, and even another option, so what is it that I'm doing on WordPress? I'm going to choose full WordPress website creation and then I push save. Now, based on the category that I chose earlier, I see different project attributes and also supported plugin types, WordPress plugins. So go on and customize this. For example, choose what are the specializations that you offer. Do you offer only this package for business WordPress website or also nonprofit blog forms and so on. Now, the other thing that is very important to you getting successful with your project catalog or not is the search tags, which is optional, but it's tricky. You definitely want to put the search tags and also put optimized search tags. How do you do it? Let me show you how. So you want to put search tags that you think clients will search to show your project catalog. But if you are not sure what are the right terms that they might search, you can come to the projects page and then go in the search button and start writing WordPress. So when I say WordPress, you can see already the most searched terms for WordPress. So I just did the same and I inspired from the search terms and I included them in my search tags. Now we're going to push the save and continue button and we will be moved to the pricing page. I would highly recommend you to use the three tires functionality for your project catalog to give more flexibility and also more options to choose for your project catalog. But 
sometimes maybe if this option is not possible or relevant for your project catalog then you can just turn this off and you will have a single option that the clients can purchase as I don't want this video to be too long, I'm going to just fill in one column, so the starter tier, but don't forget and don't hesitate to fill in the other tiers as well based on your preferences, goals, or objectives. Now, when it comes to the number of revisions that client can ask after the project is done, we will be a little bit in a tricky and challenging situation. So if you approve only one revision after the project is done, it might be a little bit frustrating for the client as they might think the final product might not be very fit for their requirements or goals. If you give nine or unlimited number of revisions, then you will might have serious issues with the client as they will request more and more and more revisions before they approve the payment. So what I recommend as a reasonable and doable number of revisions is number three. So if you approve three revisions to your clients, you make sure that the final product is aligned with their goals and preferences but also avoid you wasting time going on and going on making revisions on the project that you offer. The interesting part is that you can choose some add-ons to your project catalog. So if you said before that it takes three days to complete this project, you can put fast delivery option and you will deliver instead of three days in one day the project, but you will actually charge an extra $100 for this add-on. So this will be optional for clients to choose or not. You can also create custom add-ons. For example, I can put a custom add-on of advanced SEO for this WordPress landing page for an additional $100 an additional one day. Once you are done with this page, you can click on save and continue button and proceed with the next step, which is the gallery. Now, this part might be one of the very most important aspects of your project catalog. I have a few recommendations when it comes to choosing the right image for your project catalog. Make sure to use dynamic colors. Make sure that you use only a few words with a big size to make sure that the text is really visible and completely easy to read. This first image is very easy to read, it's very dynamic and encourages clients to click on. But an image like this one or this one where you cannot see the details of the image and also the text is not very visible, it might be a red flag to your clients. In addition to project images, you can also add videos or documents such as case studies to your project catalog to make it more convincing for the clients and also to add professionalism and credibility to your project catalog on the platform. Once you are done with this section, you can click on continue and move on with the requirements section. So here you can define what you need from your client upfront before they actually purchase the project from you. So after a client purchases your project, they will be required to answer questions you define before the contract officially starts. To give you an example, as this project catalog is for WordPress website landing page, I'm going to add a requirement. So here I just added a requirement asking the client to give me some examples, some references to already existing websites that they like. So I can see what is the design or a style that my client prefers to have. Once you are done with this section, click on save and continue and you will be moved to the description section of your project catalog. Now, for the project catalogs, there are a few common rules that you want to make sure that you will follow them. First of all, focus on the values that the clients will get by purchasing this project catalog from you. As I mentioned before, if you are a WordPress website designer or developer, don't just say, I will deliver a WordPress website for you. Instead of that, say, I will deliver a website 
to increase your sales, generate more leads and also showcase your products, services or brand successfully on the digital world. You see, in this way, you are directly communicating to the client what are the advantages or values that you offer to them by purchasing this service from you. Additionally, don't forget to use past reviews or feedback from projects that you've already completed on the platform to add credibility and show the client that you are capable of achieving their goals and meeting their requirements. Last but not least, make sure that your description is grammatically correct and error-free. For this purpose, you can use an application such as Grammarly to correct your phrases and make sure that it's error-free. Additionally, you can use emojis in relevant places and also use different sections to make your project description easier to follow and easier to read. Once you are done with the project summary, you can move forward with the project steps and frequently asked questions. Now the project steps focuses on what are the steps that you will take in order to successfully complete the project. Frequently asked questions are also optional but I highly recommend you to use them because often clients they have the same questions about your services. First thing is it helps you to avoid answering the same question over and over but also it helps your clients to clear any doubt that they might have about your services. Once you are done with this section, you can click on save and continue button and you will be moved forward to the last part of your project catalog. Before launching your project catalog on Upwork, you have to set how many projects will you be able to take at the same moment. The last thing before you launch your project is to accept the terms and services of Upwork and also you can preview your project to make sure that it aligns with your goals and requirements. And there you have it. With this step-by-step -step tutorial, you are on the way to set up your very first project catalog in a very efficient and effective way to boost your earnings and also maximize your visibility on the platform. Don't forget to keep refining your project catalogs as needed until you achieve the best results. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for more videos, tips, tricks, guides, and strategies strategies on how to become a successful freelancer on Upwork in 2023. Thank you for watching this video and until next time, happy freelancing!